is leading the country in the nuclear industry. The main plant is in Waynesboro. Today, national leaders with the Biden-Harris administration are in the area to discuss ways to expand career pathways in the field. Our Audrey Dick Herber has more on how this will strengthen the Augusta Workforce Hub. It took over 9,000 people to create these at the largest clean energy plant in the United States. Having a big impact across the country and across the state, they're also hoping to have an impact here locally on future generations. Powering homes and opportunities. Uh, we see that as a path to prosperity, which is important. As you know, in Georgia, we continue to struggle with, uh, with a workforce uh, that's able and capable of meeting our job demands. So here in Augusta, at least, we're having a conversation we had today. Today, the mayor met with Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm and other local leaders to discuss how they can set up future generations for success. Oftentimes, people in this region feel the need to have to leave Augusta to, to, to attain a decent living. Uh, no longer is that the case. By working with each other and offering more opportunities early on, students could work at a place like Plant Vogel in the future. And now companies are coming here and investing in Augusta. All right, the community is strong, and that's what we really also felt why, when choosing Augusta as, as a place. Um, we see that there is a lot of collaboration that wants to be done between colleges, between businesses, and that's what we want to strengthen as well in the, in the future. GF Casting Solutions is bringing 350 trade jobs to help build electric cars by 2026. And local schools are looking to grow the future workforce. Uh, this highly skilled job force requires training, yet it doesn't require a four year degree. It simply requires going to a technical school to require a two year degree, or you can move directly over into an apprenticeship through one of our trade unions. They're hoping that this influences other cities and states to want to do something similar. At Plant Vogel, Audrey Dick Herber, on your side.